Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop review. But first and foremost, what's poppin' with y'all? What's good? It's a blessing that you have woke up this morning. God woke you up this morning. God is giving you another opportunity today to find out what your purpose is. But anyway, back on topic. Yeah, back on topic. I was wanting to do this review to this artist. He had did a diss track on Drake because y'all know Drake already done did a diss track called Drop and Give Me 50 where he pretty much was dissing everybody. But in this diss track right here, like th this, this artist definitely had got a little personal with Drake. I was wanting to do my re my review to Rick Ross diss track towards Drake titled Champagne Moments. My fellow Rick Ross fans, my fellow Maybach music fans, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. But how y'all feeling about Rick Ross diss track towards Drake titled Champagne Moments? Here's my review. Rick Ross definitely had got personal on this diss track. Rick Ross, he was, like, talking about Drake having, like, surgery on, like, his nose and, and stuff. And he also mentioned something about something about the song that, that Rick Ross, Drake, and French Montana did called Stay Scheming. Which, the song Stay Scheming, that's actually one of my favorite songs by Rick Ross featuring Drake and French Montana. And you see, Rick Ross and Drake, they've done a bunch of songs together. At, yeah, Aston Martin music, Diced Pineapples. Like, like Rick Ross, they've... Act, yeah, Rick Ross has actually made some masterpieces with Drake but um yeah like Rick Ross definitely had got personal here and that's another thing too I'm pretty sure like a lot of y'all know that when it comes down to an artist like Drake I'm pretty sure like a lot of y'all know that Drake is biracial and Rick Ross was like calling him a white boy in this diss track yeah but but like Drake is black and white Drake Drake is mixed Drake he's biracial his his mom is white his dad is black, but on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give this diss track, I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I mean, compared to the diss track that Drake had, did, I honestly feel that that Rick Ross diss track, Changeable Moments, in my opinion, I feel it doesn't really have nothing on Drake's Drop and Give Me 50. Drake's Drop and Give Me 50 diss track is better than Rick Ross diss track, Changeable Moments, but yeah... Again, my fellow Rick Ross fans, my fellow Maybach music fans, how do y'all feel about this? Because, I, I mean, I've done, I've talked with y'all about this before. The music industry, it can turn best friends into worst enemies because Rick Ross and Drake, they've, they've done a bunch of songs together. Like, they've done masterpieces together. The song Diced Pineapples by Rick Ross, Drake, and Wale, that song is a masterpiece. The song Aston Martin Music, that song is a masterpiece. Like, yeah, Rick Ross and Drake, they've they've done a bunch of masterpieces together, but, you know, this is how the music industry is. It can turn best friends into worst enemies. And the song Stay Scheming is a masterpiece. Stay Scheming it, it, it is one of my favorite joints by Rick Ross that he had did with Drake and French Montana, but... Yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, love y'all.